And that makes a lot of sense. That little Majin is the first one that shows up. With 122,000 views? Good shit. Good shit. I like it that, like, King has become synonymous with Lil Majin at this point. That is amazing. Let's see this thing. To be real, right? King is not a character that I've ever really had a lot of interest in. It's funny because King became one of the most prominent, like, Tekken characters. I feel like even more so around Tekken 7 because he's this crazy cat wrestler guy, right? He's like a Jaguar wrestler dude, so everyone naturally just loves the character. All I know is fighting against him because of all the characters I have fought in Tekken 7 in Ranked, and we've only played like 200 matches in Ranked in that big session we had for like a few weeks, but I would say the character I fought the most in the lower ranks as we were like moving up a little bit was King. King was, he, I, I actively learned how to fight against the character in a large variety of ways that was like, okay, I think I, I think I understand this guy a little bit so I can at least see the things that I was getting my ass kicked from. But I would say for me personally, I would probably be a little bit more interested in playing a character like Armor King. Armor King is a bit, uh, not, not exactly like, not just a grappler. I don't know, something about Armor King uh, has always seemed kind of interesting to me, even though I've never really put any time into a King-style character in Tekken. So if, if at some point between now and, you know, Tekken 8, which isn't going to be out for like at least another year or so, I wouldn't be surprised if putting a little bit of time into like Jin or Lars or Armor King outside of just Noctis, might be on the plate in some way. Bandai Namco hitting us with that, that Elden Ring screen. Welcome back to the Stone Cold. Ready for the next battle. Section eight. New the purple Samantha. feathers, though. Jeez, high fidelity. King! King! Power crush? Jesus. God, everything looks like it's so painful in this game. Oh, wow. Excuse me? Grabs do screw attacks now? Excuse me? What the hell off the wall? Wow. He's had that before. Oof. Cool. Heat stuff. Wow, what was that counter? Possibly more heat stuff. Jesus! Jesus, what was this? What? Wait, what? Game is wild and dude. So many wrestling references, right? Even more so than before. What is happening? I was confused by, confused by the ender of it. Yeah, the stage is pretty, well, I don't feel like we've seen this stage before, right? Well, well, that was a good trailer. So immediately off the top of my head, Knowing King, uh, at least fighting against him. What the hell? Grab acting as a screw attack or something? A grab acting as like a middle fill part of a combo? Uh, that's weird as hell. And that means like more, more grabs per combo per capita or something? That's weird new shit. Hang on a second, let's go back. I wanna, I wanna, we can, we can pause this time. I'm allowed to not interrupt the trailer. And again, it's like lining up, right, with with the exact same stuff the devs have been saying, how characters, they want to have more individuality, you know? Like normally King in the past, he would finish off combos with a grab, right? And that's like the whole thing. Like, oh yeah, the grab attack at the end probably scales the least, it's the most damage, like bam, 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 body slam type of thing. But if he can use them like, if he can actually, you do the fill part of combos, with grabs and shit and they relaunch after? Sweet Jesus, that's gonna be badass. So that's gotta be a power crush of some kind. Wow, does it really do this crazy ass zoom in on everything when it does that? Jeez.
oh, they're making him a crowd pleaser. Granted, King has always been a crowd pleaser, right? He is the crowd pleaser character. Uh, is that the pedigree? Who does that? I don't know what the hell's going on. It's, so it's cool to see them like taking advantage of these moments where you're going to have everybody in the goddamn audience going, yeah, and, like doing the goddamn motions. Oh, it's a triple H thing. Gotcha. What the shit? That. Oh my God. So sick, dude. So this is the, uh, so, like either the new screw attack or a launcher. This is like the new stuff that you get combo extensions from in the game or one of the many new things, you know? Cause we don't even know exactly all of them yet. Doink. I don't remember seeing this. What? This thing he's had before, right? This thing, which is like a uh, off the wall, sort of like, sort of like multi-hit. He's had this in the past. But are we telling me that this was, this was in like Tekken 7, the Irish whip? It's his back one, two grab. It has like three more follow-ups. How funny, how funny. I just never saw it really used. What? Welcome. Buddy, yo, what? Did this dude just do like a Zangi flex and no shit, like absorb an attack like it was... Did he have, did it, did his power crush get, be, it just, it looks like a cancel, right? Fuck. Jesus, dude. God damn, dude, this moment is amazing. Come here, bitch. Why am I looking, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? What is this? What is, what is he have? Why does he have an armored run? Why, why are we giving grapplers armored runs? Holy shit. This is fucked up. Why not? I don't know. I don't remember him doing this to me. That's for sure. I don't remember getting hit by this kind of shit. Yo, what? That's scary as shit. So wait a minute, was this two uses of uh, of Rage Gauge? <laughs> Whatever the hell we're gonna call it. Uh, this is two Heat Gauge uses, right? So one right there, right? So that's a Heat Gauge usage. No, it's not actually. No, that, that run after was like a follow-up. This thing? Doink? Yeah, it, it doesn't do the same ping where you, like you run forward or anything like that. The rage gauge. What? So, Paul, I, this is, I'm confused. All right. Okay. 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 Paul's arm is back here. His other arm is down here. Paul. Oh my God. It's so crazy. His leg is being wrapped around the bottom part of this leg. Right. And his other leg is loose over here. Okay. All right. The octo hold. Okay. It's a bit of a mess. I think it may be because he's fighting against Paul and Paul's got so much bullshit all over him that it's kind of hard to tell what the hell's going on and i get it it's referential but it's a mess <laughs> like jeez man i feel like the super was really cool until i had to like wait what what is happening in the end yeah so what do we have left right how much do we have left we have jack which is going to be like, yeah, 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 Jack is, 
Jack is okay. The flames in the background are cool. The stage is... Actually, I wasn't even really paying attention to the stage. This is a... We've seen most of the matches on different stages so far. Yay! Is this like the new official Tekken arena? Yeah, it's got the gloves in the background and shit. Yeah. It's got like the Kazama gloves and stuff. This is like the new Tekken arena. Yeah, we need, we need Jack. We need to see Lars and we need to see June. I mean, depending on how fast they release this stuff, they have a couple of weeks to do it. It seems like we're leading, these trailers are all leading up to uh, Japan Evo, you know? Where sometimes we're getting like three, three friggin' trailers a week or something like that. And then the alpha test is gonna be in Japan where people are gonna actually be playing the game. So I'm still the most excited for, for Lars just to see what his crazy new gimmicks are gonna be like. To see what, what crazy bullshit do they have? Cause they did something, I'm glad they did something new with King that was different than before. And they gave him grabs that act as combo fill now instead of grabs being only enders. And that's just that aspect of it is super sick.